Okay, so as I was getting off the roof, I did find something else. I like to check to see if there's, you know, if there's one or two layers of shingles and make sure they put starter shingles on there and all that drip edge. I'm not sure why they put brown drip edge on this house. It's kind of weird. You would either do white or black. Um, just kind of odd. Anyways, um, there's a row of shingles underneath your main shingle uh, that goes all the way around the perimeter of the house. They call them starter shingles. Um, and I'll show you what those are right here. Let me flip around. So here's your shingle. This piece right here, come on. this is your starter shingle. These sh starter shingles are supposed to be staggered from these. So um, if this shingle starts right here, then your uh, starter shingle would start in the middle. That way those seams don't line up with each other. As you can see, they did not do that. Here's your regular shingle. There's your starter shingle. And as you can see, there's actually wood right there that's starting to rot as well. Ugh, right there. Hard to see it. Just up. You can see how it's starting to brown right there, that, that uh, wood. Uh, that's because, look at Right there, water just goes right down between those. So if you go down a whole shingle, same thing. Starter shingle, that shingle, they're, they, they, their union crazy. I've never seen that before. Um, and as you can see, this felt is starting to rip as well, right on that seam. Oop, sorry. Uh, the felt right here is starting to rip, and water's going to get down in there. It's going to go behind all this. It's going to rot your fascia out. Oh, my gosh. And I'll double check that. I would almost suspect that it's like this all the way around the house. Or at least most of it, especially if it's right here at the front of the house they did it. So I would suspect it's probably like that just about all the way around. So sorry about that. That sucks.